My name is Val Huber. I'm the product manager for Versada's BRMS. BRMS looks to provide strategic business advantage to your organization with the fastest and easiest way to build database web apps. We're not talking about things that are 10% 10, 10 faster or 20% faster. We mean five times faster, 10 times faster. You're not going to do that with a better programming language or a better framework. We do that by providing business-oriented rules that automate complete J2EE application systems, providing you the ability, in addition to the automation, the integration capabilities needed for non-SQL data and corporate security, for extensibility using um, standard tooling, Eclipse, uh, standard metaphors like events, and a standard language like Java. And the automation includes not only the automation of your logic, but the automation of performance. You can read more about these topics uh, in the documentation. What I'd like to do now is give you a quick idea of what a, a basic order entry sample application is like. And then we're going to show how that was built with rules, not code. So let's first take a look at an application. Here's our web page. Uh, here's a, a search area where we can search for the customers. Um, and here's the customers we've got. Call your attention over here. The account level goal determines, for example, whether this uh, service level agreement is shown. So if we click foreign hardware, you'll see that field is now invisible and that the, uh, the balance is highlighted because they're near the credit limit. This application supports uh, our, the uh, form page transitions, or in this case to a wizard to add an order. Down here at the bottom you're seeing the, uh, the console log showing all our sequels and rules. Uh, this is a pick function, allowing me to pick uh, a part uh, for this particular order. So we'll buy a hammer. Now a hammer actually turns out to be a kit. As we'll see later, uh, BRMS provides uh, an automated way of doing a bill of materials explosion. We see here that the system has uh, retrieved all the join fields, including the image and so forth. And now I save. You'll observe that some fields will suddenly show up, again, more rules that say these fields uh, show up in insert mode and these don't. If we return back to the customer, we can select our newly um, placed order and we can mark it ready. which will uh, observe uh, makes an update on the uh, customer's balance. So there we go. Now the question is, this is a fairly interesting application, build materials explosion, processing payments, uh, interesting screen transitions and logic. How do we build it? What does it mean to build something from rules? It means two things. First, it means we use diagrams, in particular a sitemap diagram, to build fully, execute, fully executable web apps. So let's have a look at the Eclipse-based workbench. Uh, this is the sitemap diagram, looking very much like an envelope you might have used in the past. Uh, this is a page, the customer page, showing uh, that we have customer data. Customers have detailed data of orders and payments, and orders in turn have sub-detail of, of items and dispersals. So here's our orders and payments and the subdata of the items and the dispersals. The way you build this, this is actually the working environment. Uh, for example, you would select a, a, a piece of data and you could say make a, a master detail this way. Or you could add in parent data, for example, show the, the part information for an item. Uh, this is the way you add new pages and so forth. So you build up this diagram and that's it. It runs. You don't have to worry about when we talk about the fastest and easiest, by easiest, we mean you don't have to worry about writing Java code, writing JSP pages, uh, configuring faces config files. You draw this diagram, it runs. So now let's take a look at the second piece of rules, namely expressions. We employ for the back-end logic, the save logic, uh, shared over all screens and transactions, uh, 
rules that are essentially expressions, very much like a spreadsheet. Let's take a look at what those are. The most familiar one, let's make this a little bit bigger. The most familiar one is the order total, like a spreadsheet. That's the sum of the related items, uh, amounts, where the items aren't part of a kit. This is a highly optimized rule. Uh, we can talk more about it in, in the documentation, but it's uh, an adjustment, um, not, a, not a select sum of. It uh, is automatically pruned when the relevant data is not altered, automatically shared over relevant transactions, and so forth. Highly optimized and highly automated. Uh, a more advanced rule is shown here for the order item object. Uh, this is the, an action rule for exploding the bill of materials. It says if it's a kit, then go get the parts components, that's the definition of the, 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 the uh, components in a kit, and create the sub-items out of that. Uh, that'll create more of these order items, and that in turn will uh, explode their bill of materials. So this complete bill of materials is done by this simple rule. Another example uh, is, is processing a payment. When a payment is placed, uh, this derivation rule uh, says if I'm inserting uh, a payment, then go get that payment's um, customer's orders, that is, the, and select or filter the ones that are ready and have an outstanding balance, sort them by place date, and create payment dispersal rows that record how much of the payment has been dispersed uh, to, each, uh, to each order. That's all you need to do for a full uh, sort of, uh, order play, uh, uh, payment processing. So this entire application uh, that I showed was built completely with rules, uh, not even uh, screen painting, although of course the system does include a screen painter. Uh, it did not require any Java code. Uh, it just ran from exactly what you saw. Um, in fact, the entire set of rules is maybe on the order of a dozen. So we believe you could build this application in about a day, uh, given the data model that we supply you, supply you with. So we'd like to invite you to have a look at the product and tell us what you think. Thanks very much.